Oh, spawned right at the buck. Oh, they're having a good time. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Starting in the uh, the quintessential muscle car, that moon, that 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 classic muscle car of the Moonbeam. It's the only non-sports car or van in this race, obviously. <laughs> vans versus sports cars. Twenty-four cars. Twelve of them are vans. Twelve of them are sports cars. Twenty-four laps, so we'll get one of each car all the way through the race and by the end <laughs> I should have expected that I would be involved in that in crashes considering standing at the back in a 32 player race on Project Homecoming <laughs> did not get a good uh, starting position in this one so I'm gonna have to work to get into well top 10 top 5 like the leaders are already going the leaders are already over there is bringing back MCEC season uh, season three memories vans on run raceway <laughs> bloody hell <laughs> few people didn't handle the uh, the the run raceway chicane 24 laps 24 cars some laps are going to be in fast cars some laps are going to be in slow cars and it'll all work itself out at the end We'll only know where we're finishing at the very end. As always with these special random races. Alright, Locust that actually handles okay on Project Homecoming. I'll be able to get past though, Alex. Can I make here? Get past all these vans as quick as I can. This feels like a good pace difference, actually. Sports to vans. Like, they are significantly quicker, obviously, but the problem with the first race that we did of this, which was uh, the, the open wheelers versus the dozers and things like that, lawnmowers, it, the pace difference was too big. This feels actually pretty good already. There's some vans in the top few positions. Nine F. So two sports cars to start us off. to the top five as usual with these races the people in the top positions are just going to be those who don't get vans until like the, the, they get the least amount of vans in to most of the way through the race and then it all comes together towards the end although this is it, it's actually pretty good to get sports cars the faster cars at the start because then you can kind of get away a little bit and use some clean air. Speed up. Can't carry the speed. And Chef Key's in the Speedo Express behind me. Oh, it's quicker than the Speedo. I'm in my interest to defend though. It'll help me at the end of the race. Any time I can gain by making him lose time in a faster vehicle. Tunic just ahead of me in the Jester. First place is pretty far down the road as well. So I imagine the top two haven't had a van yet. Wow, that van's gone. <laughs> top two are the only two, I think, that have had sports cars in all first of the three laps. I think the leader just got a van. So it's all going to be mixed up, as always. I'm 
just got to try and do the best race I can. Stay out of trouble and see where I'm at in the final few laps. go for that <laughs> so I coming a mile away on the uh, on the map I would have turned in there and it would have been a crash if I hadn't noticed Okay, two sports cars, two vans, and another sports car. In fact, we started in a van as well, so I'm three for th three on sports cars and vans at the minute. Did I ever tell you guys about the Rapid GT on Project Homecoming, by the way? Because this is it. <laughs> Can keep up with a Masakro. Lovely to drive. It's <laughs> an interesting line. Surely he's missed the checkpoint. Oh, I muscled my way through. Got me ahead of the massacre by doing that. Opportunistic. That was that was uh, an interesting move. <laughs> the front end is absolutely trashed. <laughs> I'm alright on left turns, but this right hand is going to be a struggle. Look at the state of that. Got me the position on the Massacre though. Oh, Molecule, here we go. Project Homecoming specific. Well, mod anyway. It's not in vanilla GTA, unfortunately. I'd love to see this car make its way to vanilla GTA. Not that quick though. I'm get I mean it's got that's the thing, some of these sports cars are obviously really good in the corners. They're not necessarily you know good top speed cars. And a lot of this track, Ron Raceway National, is well straight. It's not the most traction heavy, it's certainly nowhere near as traction oriented as uh, the full circuit. Well, I'm in the second. Is this going to be another van? Yep. Four sports cars, four vans. Chasing down the minivan cab for the lead. Van versus van. Yeah, this is a quick van. Might be able to take the lead. power out trying to get up the inside for the next corner planned it executed it worked a treat into the lead Considering I started at the absolute back of the pack and was involved in a crash and was way down the order at the end of the first lap, I'll absolutely take this. But we've got to remember everybody gets the same cars by the end. So there's going to be people who were, you know, maybe like leading the first lap already 20 seconds ahead of me or whatever in the race and there's some of those people might have gotten vans every single lap so far and they'll get all their sports cars at the end and be quicker than me 
and it'll all come together there. So we'll see what happens. So I think I'm... Am I five for five? I'm just going sport. Like this is this is the perfect balance. I'm getting a sports car, then a van, then a sports car, then a van. This is lap ten. Oh, what a scumbag! Now I'm five for five. Yeah. Nice little mix. Like, there's so much variety. You can you can get a mix like this. You can get. All sports cars first, all vans first, it is random, so... You just never know. I'm about to lose the lead though. Foto was my best lap. Another sports car? <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a mix quite like this before when we've done these kind of races. Let's go Neon. With that acceleration, it's going to help out of the last corner. a few van back markers see these could be people who've gotten vans like for the first 11 laps they've just had vans every single lap and they're gonna get sport cars for the rest of the 12 laps to go like you know there's 12 vans 12 sports cars into the schlagen gt let's go I don't think I did I? There was no way I was close enough to have hit him through lag there, surely. I mean, he'll put it in the chat, I'm sure, if I did, but... It looked like he was just getting out of the way as a backmarker, but... Did it a bit too much. Alright, gonna go back into the lead. But yeah, I've had, uh... Seven sports cars, five vans at this point. The Ron, the Ron livery Schlagen on Ron Raceway. Nice. <laughs> There's another van. It's actually, a, oh, it's actually good, isn't it, to keep getting sport cars and vans straight after, because you get the benefit of the sport car's speed for the first part of each van lap. So that could actually be quite helpful for me, switching between them. At least in terms of me being able... I'm, I'm not expecting to be able to win this race. I was so far back even after the first lap. But we'll just see where we can get up to. Perennial behind. I think it's a bit quicker than this uh, Paradise within my interest to defend though trying to keep it behind it's not very nice scum straight back through I was, I was determined to get straight back through there. I wasn't going to get held up by him after that into the chicane. No chance. <laughs> I 
with Fulira. I think I'm I'm definitely I've definitely I'm definitely on the side of more sports cars than vans, which is gonna be problematic for me come the end of the race. I've lost count of what I'm on now. <laughs> Is it nine and six? No, I've had seven. Eight and seven? I don't know, I've lost count. We're on lap 15, I don't even know where I'm at. It's too much to keep track of. Eight and six sounds right. Eight sports. Six vans. No, that's not right. Eight and seven. Yeah, it's eight and seven. Eight sports, seven vans. So it's not too bad. It's a healthy mix still. It's nice to be actually mixing it up rather than getting weighted one or the other. I would like to experience one of these where you get like all the slow cars first. That could be quite fun for the last few laps. Morgan, not that quick on the straights. <laughs> very, very slow. In vanilla GTA and Project Homecoming. Acceleration is only really going to help me on, out of the last corner. <laughs> All right, Jester, uh, the sports cars are coming now. This is going to be a tough last part of the race in all these vans trying to keep people behind. I chose a Jester, but uh, <laughs> I'd rather have the Carbonazzi. <laughs> There's that sound bite. I had to keep the uh, the classics in, like the photos of the Jester, the Massacre. Oh, what a scumbag! I'm trying to use the clean air as best I can, like just putting in the lap times on my own, and then I'll see where I finish at the end. Like, and then I'm, maybe I can defend. Wow, the two classics from the Jester straight into the Massacre. The two first DLC sports cars. What we always used to race in so often back in the day because the energy was always banned. Ah, oh, what a scumbag! Ah, it's many, many sports cars higher, more than uh, more than vans at this point. I think this is going to be a van. Yep. But using the pace, using the sports car bonus on the change. Dax had no wheels. <laughs> Tonic in the Schlagen GT is going to be catching me up pretty quick. God, the pony. I 
I remember when I tested the vans the very first time and the pony surprised me because it turns quite well. <laughs> In comparison to the other vans, that is, obviously. <laughs> wow, Tullik got 10 seconds on me in that lap. Gang burrito time, the fastest van. And I'm about to lose the lead. Tunic, me and Tunic at the front. Something's going to go wrong. <laughs> Jesus! I just got Macy'd in the Macy chicane. <laughs> that chicane is not an overtaking place in the inside there. <laughs> Did you not watch MCC Season 3? Timmington's in the pit lane. Rumpo. And the vans have really come out and forced the last few laps. I wonder how many I've got left. We're on lap 21 out of 24, so there's only three laps left. Is it three... Is it two sports cars and one van? Or is it two vans and one sports car? It has to be one of those two, surely. Well, we'll find out. It's all closing up at the end, as these races always do. As they all the cars filter themselves through and all the people who had the slow cars initially get the fast cars at the end and vice versa. It's got to be two vans left hasn't it? So I'm not gonna get... I mean I've been enjoying being in the lead to be fair. Alright, ES550. By the way we've been using the sports the, the Vans class, obviously, on Project Homecoming. And the Sports A class. Not Sports B or Sports Sedans or whatever. Two laps to go. Is it going to be both Vans? Closed up at the front. Leader's only just on the right there. Tunic's just ahead of me. So that's closed up. Van versus van. Pony versus minivan. Leader's kind of gone a bit, I think. God, what's going to be on the last lap? Is it a van or a sports car? It must be a van, surely. I think I've had my fill of sports cars now. Leaders in a gang burrito. Oh, issues! I did say it was going to not work out for one of us. <laughs> Rip Tunic. Hey, he still might have a sports car to come yet. The leader might have a van to go. Tunic might still have a sports car. Might all change on the last lap. Either way, regardless of what's left to come, this has been one hell of a result 
from starting at the back. Okay, leaders in a rumpo. I don't think I've got a sports car coming, surely. Nah, the perennial. And Tunnick's in the Fly US perennial. So the leaders got this. But is there anyone behind in a sports car? Coming up quicker. Paradise, Molecule. There's nothing? <gasps> the leader's made a mistake! On the chicane! On the final lap! Oh, I need these back markers not to take me out. The chicane that he crashed into me on. He makes the mistake and we get the win. <laughs> yes. <laughs> From the back of the grid. <laughs> How? How? <laughs> What? I was going to say second was a bloody incredible result from the back of the grid after that first lap. But the win. <laughs> he couldn't have rode it. Tonic in second as well. Tonic in second. What is going on? Me and Tonic in the top two positions. <laughs> I just said in the random, the random all. Me and Tunic can't get top two. It has to go bad for one of us. But we're in the top two. Tunic GG's. What a race. What an incredible race. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, look at it at the line. It's the second, third, and fourth. 1.4, 1.8, and 1.9 seconds away from me. So second, third, and fourth were separated by half a second. The way that these races all close up at the end is incredible but like the end of that race and to go from the back where I was on the grid and right at the back pretty much and on the, after that first lap and actually win what a race